Um, good afternoon. Very good afternoon to you. Thank Mrs. you. Rasha. Good afternoon to the, all the audience who are interested in knowing more about the intrauterine insemination. Today, the topic of the talk is about how to optimize IUI and what is the intrauterine insemination, what are the indications of IUI. Tell me what are your questions? My first question, actually, what is the meaning of IUI? Yes, it's a very important aspect of the infertility management. Uh, basically, it is the first indication and the most important indication of intrauterine insemination. It is for the mild oligospermia. If the husband semen is less count, as we have already said the criteria for being an oligospermic man, less than 15 million, motility is less than uh, 20% and morphology, abnormal morphology is more than 4%. So the IUI is after processing the husband semen sample, then we insert it uh, inside the uterine cavity. So by itself it's called intrauterine insemination of husband semen. Sit down. Ma'am, second question, ma'am. Mm -hmm. How successful of IUI on first try, ma'am? Um, uh, it is approximately from the review of all the papers and the publication is 15 to 20 percent per cycle. It's uh, basically giving the conception rate. And um, the success is more better in patients who are having an oligospermic husband. The success is lesser if the husband is a normal spermic, he has got a normal count. Like uh, basically if uh, the motility is normal, if morphology is normal, success rate a little bit lesser. Okay. Yes. Actually what is IUI pregnancy ma'am? Is it different from a normal pregnancy? Absolutely not. It's all the same. Just because it is conceived with the infertility and the treatment of the problem, so it is a little bit more precious, otherwise it is same. Okay, ma'am. How long does IUI take from start to end finish, finishing point, ma'am? How much time? About 14 to 15 days okay. from the day one. Uh, patient will have to get a tablet for ovulation induction. There are papers which says, okay, even if we don't induce the wife, the success rate is same as when we induce the wife, but it is always better if we give them a clobifrin citrate from the day two or day three for 50 mg three times or twice uh, a day depends on her response and when uh, follicular study is being done on the ten, day 10 or day 11 and uh, once the DF, the dominant follicle is ready, HCG to be given, HCG 36 hours later, then intrauterine insemination with the processed husband semen will be done. Okay. How should I prepare for IUI, ma'am? IUI preparation is in a sterile container after three days of the abstinence. The basically sample will be given. It is half an hour should be kept for the incubation and liquefaction. Then the husband semen approximately 1 ml with the 3 ml of the media should be processed uh, with the, uh, the centrifuge of 1800 RPM for about 10 minutes. There are different protocols. It is being individualized. Some people say 1500 RPM and some people say about 8 minutes. So, but this is approximately where the uh, centrifuge 1500 to 1800 RPM with the 3 ml of media for about 10 minutes. And uh, once uh, this centrifuge is being done, then we see the basically the good motile sperm uh, will be there where we have to take it with the pipette and we have to layer it with the protein type of a media where all the sperm, which because normally sperm in men like protein. So it is called layering of the sperm after the centrifuge. We layer it with the protein and uh, all the motile sperm will come on the top 
on the top layer will have all the motile sperm and that layer should be for the insemination and we get a good success. Inshallah. What are the advantages and disadvantages now? The disadvantages is every patient once they have a IUI dating they should get pregnant but they should be patient because um, if she doesn't get first cycle success then she has to wait for the second or the third cycle. Normally it's being advocated for to six cycle. Oh. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay, any side effects now with this IUI treatment? There is no side effects. If they, if there are centers which they don't have a proper facilities, they shouldn't do it. Okay. Recovery time now? Recovery time for what? For IUI after treatment, mentally and physically recovery time. There is no such thing. Oh. So then it is a safe treatment. Very safe. Ma'am, any success story of yours? There are thousand success stories, but we want to know one. In IUI success, I have many success stories because many of them, they are coming to us where they had a failure of the IVF from other centers and they come and with a one good tubal washing and endometrial biopsy. Um, there are very good success we get with the IUI with a good husband cement preparation. Recent success now? Recent success, yes. I had a patient where basically um, she was having a mild, minimal to mild endometriosis. And um, well, in the literature also mentioned that they are very resistant to the treatment. But this patient, once we did a laparoscopy, she became very, she gave a very good response to, with her, you know, ovarian stimulation and we did an IUI and she is pregnant at the moment. She's carrying. Oh, thank you so much for, ma'am.